These are Swedish cell mascar packs, and I probably 100% butchered that pronunciation. So if you know the exact way to pronounce this, let me know down below in the comment section. Now, for this video, I'm gonna be opening up all three of these packs. Uh, specifically, these two right here, the top one and the bottom one, I'm gonna be chasing one card in particular, this Bob Marley. Now, I recently won this cello pack, but I'm not gonna open this with Bob Marley on the front. I think this is a really cool piece. And how I know that this is an open, if you go here on the back, it still has its original tape intact. So I think this is a really cool piece. And obviously I don't wanna destroy that. Well, these ones over here, I wanna give it a shot. There's also, I believe a Freddie Mercury solo card in this set. So I'm gonna take my chances on it. There's 235 cards, eight cards per pack. Well, seven technically because of the ones on the front. So not the best chances, but there's still some other bigger bands in the checklist. Also, I have this pack right over here. I didn't take the chance to kind of date it. So let's throw that into the video. Now, the other side of things, if you are interested in other packs, I do have five available from 1979. Um, they're multicolored packs. There's those over here as well. So if you're interested, hit me up with my either like an email or social media and I can ship those out to you. And I can also take closer pictures of the back with the tape and everything like that. And um, with that being said, let's cross our fingers. Hopefully we hit something nice in one of those three packs. All right, moment of truth. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, first time actually opening up a vintage pack. So we have some vintage cards in the background for good luck. And the other purpose on those is this is the last video that will feature these two. I just traded uh, the Christy Matthewson, which is SGC3, and the Greenberg, which is a PSA 3.5. Man, you guys won't believe the, the, the grill that I picked up by trading those, but that will be for another video. Off to the side, I do have top loaders and penny sleeves just in case. So let's open up this first pack, which I'm not too sure of the year. Um, no going back now, I guess, right? So we have the vintage tape on here. And uh, I don't even know if I should keep these packs or not. Oh man, this is uh, a little nerve reckoning. I don't know if there's a demand for these packs. So I am, uh, we're into it now. And it just folds open like this. And I guess good luck to me, right? That is the pack over here. Like that, and we'll go start. So up first, card number 870, which is Boney M. No idea who that is, but these cards are mint. We're liking that. So, oh, I, that hurts. That hurts. Um, Boney M again. Whew. All right. Slade. We're not doing well. And Gary Glitter. We hit it. Freddie Mercury. So this is a 1979 pack. Wow. Um, hold on guys, we hit it. That was one of the big cards that I actually wanted to hit. Wow. Um, my hands are a little shaken right now. I need to put this in. I guess this is what the breakers feel like when they get a big hit, but their hits go to other people. This hit goes straight into my music PC. Uh, I hit the Freddie Mercury. This is an expensive card too. Um, I think a nine just did like $250. Wow. That made it worth it. Even though I get nothing in these other packs. Um, wow. All right, let's keep going through. Grand Funk, I'm pretty sure they sang the song We're an American Band. Agnetha, I don't know who that is. Mabel, no idea. And Agnetha again, but card number 824. I um, I want to say Grand Funk's a bigger name. Or not, they're not the biggest name, but like they have still a, a bigger fan following for the rest of the cards in here. Um, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm still shaking a little bit, guys. 
I'm so happy with that. So I'm just gonna put these in here and just to protect these for now. I'm gonna do a little bit of research later if any of these are worth getting graded or not. But just to recap, pack number one, Freddie Mercury. I am, uh, I'm so happy. All right, pack number two. This one's a ripped a little bit. So this pack's not gonna be in the best shape, but we're gonna see. All right. Okay, guys. So we have Barbie Benton. Todd. We have Sparks, Smokey. Ah, oh, Peter Frampton, he's a bigger name. Infrid, no idea who that is. Abba, our last card, Sean Cassidy. So, kind of a bummer pack there, but uh, we have one more left, so we'll just put those in here. And we'll move forward. All right, last pack, last pack mojo, right? That's what the breakers say. That sound cringe, just going saying that. I can't even get into this one. You guys can laugh at me. Yes, we're just gonna rip the tape this time. All right. <sighs> Nerves hidden. Last chance, guys. Last chance. So that was Abba on the front. No surprise there. How about again? Again, big name, but not who we want. Lollipops. Not what we want. Agnetha. <sighs> Jan Mitchell. Barbie Benton. Paul Stanley. Um, obviously not early kiss card, but Gene Simmons. Well, I mean, I'll take the kiss cards at the very end. I don't think they're too bad if you get them graded. Kiss Army, uh, like some of the early Swedish Samaskar cards. So I'll be okay with that. But uh, fortunately, no Bob Marley, but we still hit it big. Uh, I took a gamble on that one pack not sure what year it was and we know for sure now what year that was because the freddie mercury was pulled so hope you guys enjoyed this video i don't do many packs on this channel but uh, that was a fun one and just to recap freddie paul stanley and gene simmons all right i'll catch you guys in another video